Um, I'm really excited for our players. I thought that they um, started the game great. Um, you, you don't have to start every game with a quarter like we had in order to win a game. Um, but there were, there were going to be ups and downs. We knew that was going to happen. And so it was nice for us to get off to the, the start that we did so that it gave ourselves a little bit of a buffer. Um, and then you know, we knew that they were going to make runs as well, which they did. But we were able to limit theirs. Um, I thought we had a de great defensive effort on some of the best players um, on their team. Their leading scorers both um, were limited, which was definitely in our favor. And um, I thought that <clears throat> at some point one of our coaches said uh, we were we found a way to be okay with not being okay when it was a little bit we were a little bit tired and um, things weren't going exactly how we had designed them to or drawn them on the whiteboard um, but that our team um, everybody who played in the game made a contribution at some point during one of those stretches which really um, helped springboard us and get us the win so really happy for him. Is it okay? Coach, can you talk about some of the things that your uh, team did well defensively uh, to kind of limit them to one uh, bucket in the first quarter? Well, you know, first thing is we didn't, I don't know if we gave up any, but certainly not more than two offensive rebounds. Um, so that was a big thing. Uh, they're one of the best in the country at offensive rebound to score or to draw a foul. So we did a nice job with that. I thought that everything that they shot was contested. Uh, we were in a position where we were towards the basketball, so we didn't have to go one-on-one. -on -one. Um, very much, which was something that we didn't want to do. We didn't want defensively to be playing one-on-one -on -one with them. Um, so those were the big keys. Uh, you know, I, I think the offensive rebounding was probably among the biggest of them. Coach, you mentioned holding DeGray and Collier well below their season average. How, how was your team able to do that today? Well, you know, we stayed focused on the plan. We, we didn't want to go attached from, um, is it Collier? I thought it was Collier. So we wanted to stay c connected to her. Um, we didn't want DeGray to catch uh, any open, you know, short corner shots and be able to shoot them. We didn't want her to catch on the block without having a fight. Uh, we were trying to um, take them away by giving some front and showing some different defensive players. I, I think Leanne is one of our, our best post defenders that we've coached at Gonzaga in a long time. And um, she has a good sense of, of what, when you're going to go somewhere. She fights around. She gets in front. She's long. Um, so she did a nice job on her. We put a little bit more length on Collier with Chandler Smith because she is a six foot, six one guard. Um, so she does have a couple of inches on her since she elevates so well on her pull up. And so just wanted, wanted to make sure that if they did get a shot, we knew they would get some points. They're very good players, <laughs> that they were all contested and nothing was easy. Zakira, like I want to know about the patch. What's it stand for? It's the patch. So um, this patch stands for Lisa's brother. Um, it was really important that we be able to, you know, just show our appreciation for the way that her family has um, been here for us uh, throughout my entire four years. And so it was just to commemorate him. Thank you. Um, I guess you had an emotional moment this morning too with uh, Jill Townsend uh, greeting you guys. Uh, can you share uh, that a little bit and what that meant? Yeah. Um, we were all surprised. We had no idea she was coming. And when the bus pulled up and we saw her, it was just so so much excitement in that bus. And we were all so happy because we wanted her to be there and be a part of this. She was contributing to our team the whole year. And we're here partly because of her. So for her to be able to be here with us and see her on the bench and how excited she gets and how pumped up she makes us, even if she's just sitting there, just seeing her, um, it was really exciting for us. About uh, the post game celebration and, and having Laura and, and Jill out there with you guys? Uh, it's such a big deal. I mean, like Katie was saying, they've contributed so much to this team. Uh, Laura's given her blood, sweat, tears, and everything you could think of, um, just as well as Jill. So um, it's just, it's so important and really cool to have them here and be able to celebrate with us because they've put in all the hours and all the time that we have to get to this moment. Katie, could you just talk about? Um, you know, uh, what made you so efficient from the three-point line today? Uh, it seemed like you could have taken a lot more shots if you wanted to. Yeah, um, I just think my mindset, um, I, was, I was really excited and really pumped up for this game. And even before the game, I was, I was really excited and I was feeling my shot. And in, in warm-ups, I just kept talking to myself positively and next shot will go in. And, um, Everything that led up to this, either is practice yesterday or warm ups today, and I just knew it was a big game, and I needed my mindset right, my feet ready, and I couldn't think when I shot the ball. I just know that if I'm open, uh, my team needs me to shoot it, and I need to shoot it.
Coach, can you just talk about the resiliency of this group? You guys have gone through a lot in the last few weeks, um, but now you're headed to the round of 32. Can you just talk about how this group responds to adversity? Yeah, you know, we've gone through a lot the last couple of weeks, but <clears throat> I would tell you that the resiliency started, you know, uh, about this time last year. You know, we, we had some stuff come up that some of you guys know about. We don't really need to bring it up, but we, we thought the team was maybe going to look a little bit different than it did. And, um, you know, adversity started there. And these guys, these guys are resilient because of the, the seniors and the leadership that they have. Um, those guys don't make excuses. Chandler, Z, and Lowe, they are ready for every practice. They don't make excuses. They don't ask for, um, you know, special treatment unless these being a little bit nonsense every once in a while. <laughs> um, but, I mean, they, they grind it with these guys, and they teach them what that means, and uh, they give everything that they have. And so I think that um, they've kind of demanded um, that that occurs with our players, and then also the fact that we're so – close knit again, which I think you get closer as you go through stuff with somebody. Um, so trials and, and injuries and, you know, other, we've had other players. I know that we've talked a lot about the death in my family. Uh, you know, one of our players or two of our players coach passed away this year. We've had family members pass away, uh, you know, from some of the other players. And the more you walk through something with people, um, the closer you become. And then when you need to be strong and you don't feel like you got it, you just turn to your, your side and you have a bunch of people who are willing to be strong for you. So we didn't talk a ton about doing this for Hayden or doing this for Jill or doing this for Laura. Um, I think it's, it's known and that everybody's just gonna continue to do everything they can for each other. And, and that's, I think, what makes this team really special. Z, could you just talk about the hair a little bit? Um, this is the first time a lot of people might have seen you and uh, rocking the Marge Simpson do. Um, I don't the know. Marge just Simpson. <laughs> it's so much better than that. Yeah, see. <laughs> so much better. Um, I just really like the color blue. There's no real method to the madness. Um, it started my junior year of high school, and I just stuck with it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. I think it makes her uh, adds an inch or two to her height, and so for us, it's an advantage because people think she's a little bigger than she actually is. Coach, can you speak to uh, Luis's impact off the bench in extended minutes today? Yeah, I thought Lou did great. I mean, this is, I, I think, almost sure the most minutes she's played in a game this year. And, um, you know, we've had such great depth that we haven't had to call on her so, so often. She had an injury almost the entire season last year. And so she was coming into the season similar to what a freshman would be like. By the time she came back last year, we kind of had a rotation. Uh, would have redshirted her, except for we kind of thought that we might need her because she's such a great offensive um, scorer. And um, you know she's extremely well conditioned. And uh, I never thought that that was going to be the thing that we needed from her. I thought we were going to need her shooting, um, her positivity, those kind of things. Um, but the conditioning has really proved to be extremely beneficial because we've had to sub a little bit differently with the the new lineup and the way we look now. And she's capable. Um, she's she's always gotten herself in best shape, whether she's getting reps or not. And then um, the way she shot the ball, she's ready. She's always ready in practice. Uh, she knocks them down consistently. Uh, we've been trying all year to find a way, but anyone who's coached knows that 10 players is hard to manage at one time. And so it's, it's nothing that she has done. And I don't think that she prefers, obviously she wishes that our team was whole like it was before, but as far as an opportunity for her, um, when she's been given one, she's done very well with it. And I'm really happy for her. She's, she's a threat. When you have her and Katie on the floor, and then you got Zykira in the middle, then it doesn't matter really what else you got because you got someone who's going to pound you in the paint or you got people who are going to shoot it out there. And so it's, it's difficult to defend. And so it gives us a great dimension. One last question. I also want to talk about Kempton. She played pretty well um, coming off the bench for you. I know depth has been a big thing you've talked about coming into this. I remember when you said before we came to the tournament, if depth was going to show up, I think this was the time it was going to. So I guess maybe even more than Kempton, can you just talk about how impressed you were with the bench overall? Yeah, well, you know, like I mentioned at the very beginning, they all made a con positive on contribution. I, I looked down here, and everyone who played the game except for G, and she only had, you know, she didn't have an opportunity for a rebound, got rebounds more than one. Everybody who played the game had more than one point. We have several players with um, assists. We have several players with steals and blocks. So th they just made an impact today. And uh, it happened to be a little bit of Louise, a little bit of Jen, and a little bit of um, – uh, Mel, yeah.
yeah, sorry, today. Um, but that's the same thing that we've been able to, to call upon. And, and Melody in particular, I know you asked me not to speak to her directly, but she's in a situation like Z was. Z's freshman year, she got some minutes she wouldn't have gotten because we had some injuries. And Mel got a bunch of minutes early on. She was our third post. Um, so we subbed her right off the bench, right off the bat, when Jen was out with a finger broken. And you know we're seeing that pay off now because she ha does have experience and she does have confidence. And she does, you know all the things she does, her knack for the ball, um, they, they all bring something to our team. And at, at any given moment, you're not sure what we're going to need, but there's going to be someone to fill in the hole. Thank you very much. Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry.